what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Especially in the back. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Not to the people in the front. Uh, it is an honor. It is an honor to stand here in front of the advocators, the proselytizers, the crusaders of Wisconsin. And, oh yeah, please, yeah. <laughs> and I offer to you, you Midwestern heralds of tourism, I offer to you that Wisconsin, this state, this land, this swelling, lush landscape, this rolling rivers and lakes with its bustling cities, I offer to you that this Wisconsin is a poem. Every corner of this state has its own unique verse, its own unique rhythms that resonate in the heart of its residents. Think of that, Wisconsin as a poem. The serene sonnets of Lake Mendota and Lake Superior, their waves gently lapping on the shore. The pastoral odes of the driftless area, the stanzas of the cities. From the historic charm of Madison to the bustling streets of Milwaukee to the iconic gridiron of Green Bay. <laughs> and hundreds of haikus, those homesteads and farms that dot across the prairie lands, and over a thousand free verse lines of towns, welcoming each with its own unique rhythm, each with its own unique narrative. This poem, this story, this state, this Wisconsin is a mosaic of experiences, a living anthology of its people. As stewards of Wisconsin and Wisconsin's call, it is our responsibility, our privilege to share this poem with the rest of the world to showcase not just the beauty of our landscapes, but the depth of our culture, the warmth of our people, the spirit of adventure that calls to every visitor, wander Wisconsin. Today, we have a very unique opportunity. Unique opportunity is special theater talk for, oh my God, what are we doing? <laughs> We have a unique opportunity to blend what you love about Wisconsin into a collective spoken word tapestry. Elise Dickerson and myself, actors, poets, writers, new forged Wisconsinites, will weave a tapestry of words and images drawn from what you just texted us. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you're not the one doing that. <laughs> um, Elise and I use this exercise, albeit on a much smaller scale, in classrooms all across Wisconsin. At the end of a week-long residency entitled The Words Between Us, Elise and I invite students to share their frustrations, their fears, their joys, their questions about family, about history, about race, religion, morality, about life. And we take these comments, we take these observations, and we weave them into a poem. Now, the students know what it is to be an individual, <laughs> as all teenagers do. They know what it is to be an individual. They know what they feel. They know what they think. But when you take those ideas from the individual and you weave them into the ideas and fears and concerns of the others, then all of a sudden you are awakened to a collective experience of what it is to be a part of the community. It's fantastic work. We love doing it. So, okay. <laughs> we, go. we hope to share with you not only what you texted to us, not only your love of Wisconsin, what you love about Wisconsin, but also the love and ideas that are shared by those fantastic people around you. Ooh, okay, here we go. I did all I did. Wait, here we go. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. So here we go. This is a found poem, a hundred 
wonderfully unique individual threads into one tapestry of beauty, variety, and spirit that is Wisconsin and its people. Elise and I present to you, Wisconsin, Wisconsin is. Wisconsin is inviting, welcoming, excitingly beautiful, rich and full of love, diverse, the best state in the U.S., outdoor fun, a paradise for architecture enthusiasts, <laughs> an experience, lasting memory, nature's art. Wisconsin is diverse with exciting opportunities, home, fabulous, beautifully cheesy, home, the future, home and family, a large outdoor space from farms to woodlands, entertainment to industry, family, and fun. Wisconsin is lakey, <laughs> inviting, God's country, fishing joy, cheesy, full of amazing people, home to the hodag, Unique, fun, nice, genuine, and authentic, adventurous, scenic, friendly, unexpected, a naturally beautiful place welcoming to all. Wisconsin is a dining destination, great on two great lakes. Delicious, <laughs> hospitable, adventurous, colorful. Adventure, a great place to visit, to live, and to be outdoors. Four seasons, large full of good food, <laughs> about family, community, cheers, and beer. Wisconsin is a land of opportunity, warm, cold, big, bold, beer, brats, and the arts, divide, divide, diverse and welcoming, room, lots of room, full of potential, water, woods, and fun, the very best of the Midwest, cheese, cheers, Chores, home of the Packers, go pack. <laughs> Wisconsin is home of brats and custard. The craft brewers scene. A sanctuary for outdoor enthusiasts. Where friendliness blooms like wildflowers. Cheese haven. A beer drinker's paradise. Ready for new tech. Best beaches in the lakes. Lumber and mining. The hidden gem everyone should know about. Oh my gosh. Amazing. A great place to live. Full of opportunity. The place my parents raised me. Home. Home. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Let me just remind you, let me just remind you Elise and I didn't do that. I mean, we wrapped our mouths around those words, but uh, that was written by all of you who texted in to us. May I please ask for another round of applause for all of you amazing Thank people. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.